Soy Pablo. ¿Quieres jugar? Backyard Baseball, the PS2 version. It's in 3D now. This was actually my first baseball game ever, so for that reason, it's very special to me. It helped me learn about the game of baseball. It showed me who the stars of the MLB were at the time. And I also discovered the greatest athlete of all time, Pablo Sanchez. He's literally the Thanos of Backyard Sports. There's not really a story I can lean on to format this video, so I gotta think what makes Backyard Baseball 2005 as great as it is, or was. It boils down to this. The kids. There's 30 of them. Some not very good, some okay, and some better than the pros. Personally, if I were to pick a team, I try to pick the perfect combination of skill and style. You want unrelenting force? You got Keisha. I got the power. Blazing speed, you got Pete. I'm Pete. You want to keep it inclusive? Kenny. Kenny Kawaguchi. Secretly psycho, and also a favorite of mine, Mikey Thomas. He's the little invisible man who lives inside my mouth. Bruh. An all-around stud, Tony Delvecchio. You know you want Tony on your team. You want intelligence? Dmitry Petrovich. You will pick me for your team. Personally, Ernie Steele is my favorite player. His name has been used in a lot of lore of my life growing up, so... <laughs> And with great players comes great fields. You can play at the drive-in, you can put your toes in the sand, see the beautiful countryside, hang out in Ernie's backyard, he has a pool, play where they film signs, the big junkyard I mentioned in my last video. You can play at the desert and look at this lizard. You can also go to the swamp and look at this uh, mosquito. You can play underwater. I'm floating in water. You can play up in space or even under the lights at the main stage. It's the best looking field. There's just so much opportunity to play at different fields. <laughs> Power-ups. On the mound, you got the split ball. It splits in half. The crazy ball. It goes crazy. The majority of the time, you're gonna get the fang ball, which doesn't seem that good, but if you place it top corner, it works magic. Knowledge. And when it comes to hitting, there's the base level power-ups, like the sonic boom. The classic Butterfingers ground ball. Deploy the pinata bat to trick the entire team. Stop right there, criminal scum! You stupid! And I can also still abuse the Thor theme with the electric bat. An excuse to show off my Minecraft hammer. But the aluminum bat power-up is easily the most overpowered thing in the game. Okay! Mission accomplished, good work! Okay, moving on to the game types. If you seek the knowledge of the BBL, not the not the surgery, you can learn a lot in Clanky's coaching box. He's a big robot and he teaches you how to play baseball. If you have friends, you can go over the classic pickup mode and move your hands up this bat. The home run derby is just as it sounds, hit home runs. And you can even play darts in a treehouse. But if you enjoy the art of progression, achievement, camaraderie, you can dive deep into the season mode. Start by selecting your team name and logo. Damn. <laughs> to match the theme of the channel, I picked the snowmen, the frozen ropes. You then can use the high-tech, in-depth customization tool to customize your uniforms. And when it comes to drafting your team, you can obviously pick the best players. I personally would just make all created players because they progress over the season. But for the sake of this video, and Pablo Sanchez being Thanos, I had to assemble the Avengers. I also, of course, made myself light drip, horrible stats, and then spaz and punk rock for the personality. I also made one of my best friends as the pitcher. He's my pitcher in real life, so I gotta keep the lore straight. Here's a montage of everyone I picked. So I'm gonna keep talking. I don't know what I'm gonna do here. I'll, I'll pretend I'm shooting electric at my cat and see if it blows him up. So with my dream team set, we embarked on the 18-game season, which took way longer than I thought to get there. It took like three days of straight playing, but here's how it went. Not sure I'm gonna edit the montage, but I'm just gonna float around as the plays happen. Nice batting, great albatross. Just look at these strikeouts. So many home runs. I think I hit over 100 home runs this season. It takes a long time if you think about it. I'm playing on pro difficulty. It's very easy. My own creative player was the worst on the team, and I could barely get hits. I would have had much more of a fun time doing it if it wasn't like that. We're doing double plays. As we went 18 and 0, clinched the division, clinched the conference. Mikey Thomas stole the show. He was the MVP, hit the most home runs, and he was just all around monstrous. We made it to the World Series, and I stepped up to the plate with my aluminum bat power up. Pitch, a hot shot. Oh, 
sorry. The only way I can hit a home run is if I use the cheats. And after the kind of grueling process of 25 six inning games, we won the title. And it's such a cute little celebration at the end with some, some inspirational music. And to be honest with you, I don't think it was worth playing a season for this video. I think I could have got enough done without it. And hey, that's pretty much it. It's a pretty compact game. Not really much of a story to go along with, but a lot of fun to be had here. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Also subscribe as well. You don't have to, but it'd be nice. Anyway, thank you guys so much again for watching. I appreciate every comment, every like, everything. I look forward to making more, so that's about it for me, and I, I hope none of the players hit me with a bat. See you guys in the next one. <laughs>